Hey everybody. Um, this is my second RuneScape vlog. Um, to start off, I want to talk about the video about the branding. I haven't had any time lately because that's a video that demands more time. These vlogs, they just demand a little recording and so on, and then I put it up. But the guides, I have to redo clips just so it doesn't look so stupid because I'm not that great of a movie maker. Um, and I want to thank the two people who just subscribed to me. I can't name their names here because I forget. But I'll put them to the right. And I'll give a link to their YouTube, maybe. Um, today I want to talk about an update that came out a while ago. And that was the, uh, well, let's say several updates. Like the Grand Exchange update. The, uh, getting rid of, um, you know, the, uh, unbalanced trade and so on. And I used to be one of those people who would just complain and complain and complain about it. And it was, I don't think that's right because the game's actually no different, if not better. Because now the people that are left aren't just like little weirdos who beg. I mean, of course, they're still the beggars. And, but those people are even starting to realize that there's a different way to get around in the game. And it's demanded more skilling rather than merchanting, which I used to do. And I really don't mind merchanters or anything, but it's just one of those things that challenges people to be better at the game. Now, let's talk about the wilderness. No one likes the update, and I don't care about the update. I never actually PK'd that much. When I did, it would be in the free-to-play worlds, and I'd end up losing a rune skimmy, and I didn't care. But that was just when I was extremely bored. But let's talk about the people that did mind it, like the PKers. So many people quit, but those people all complain that Jagex was losing money. They're trying to make them feel bad about it. But the truth in the matter is they're gaining money because now if you look at the member worlds, they're more populated than the free-to-play worlds. And I think various people have stated that. And so this is one of their best decisions by far compared to a lot of other decisions they made that would make it easier for the merchanters. Not that merchanting is bad or anything. So basically, my standpoint on the updates is nothing. I mean, it's beyond me. It's just challenged me to be better. Because I used to have like a 1,100 total level, and I thought that was good. And now I have 1,515. Now I'm going to say that's actually pretty average, and average isn't bad, I guess. Because you have some money making skills. Here I'm talking to Barlock, just in case any. Well. You trading your bones to him. So, yeah. Uh, one sec. Okay, so, anyways. They're pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, 42. Construction. But, anyways. So. Back to the wilderness and Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter actually got better once they got rid of all those stupid little updates that. Like made it so it was on uh, multi-combat so pretty much you would go in there even sometimes in a team and then people with much better skills than you would come along and blast you you know you'd be out of there in a second either because you ran or because you died so that's why I never did bounty hunter after the first four times I just want to check it out that's what I do with most updates because most updates aren't bad. Um, let's talk about the duel arena. I think that was a little outrageous. Getting rid of staking and stuff. Because really it didn't have much effect on the real world trading I guess. Um, but I know a lot of people made their money that way too. So I'm guessing they lost some people then too. But then they made it free to play, so maybe those people came back just to duel. 
Um, then, like, it's just kind of hard to explain the effect it's had on RuneScape. Whether it's for the worst or for the bad, or, uh, whether it's for the worst or for the better, I can't really say because I'm not one of those people who's real technical about it. Um, I think it is for the worse and it is for the better in the sense that the game has more players that know what you're talking about and more players that aren't going to come up to you and say, Hey, you can have some money. They might come up and ask for help that's about a quest or how to do something. And yes, that happened before and it's happening now too. But instead of the majority of people asking for help, the help being money, the help is actually an ending up being, um, like, information. And that's, like, the best help you can get. Because if you tell someone how to make money, then they can make money. So you just tell them how. Even if they're not, they can just, you know, be noobs, I guess. But... Those people, they usually end up quitting after a while, so I've got nothing wrong. Now, a while back, I asked a couple of people because I wanted to make a video on the updates because, oh, I hated them so much. I don't know why. It's just one of those things that you loathe. So I went around and I asked people and I had it recorded, but then I decided not to put it up because it was about the time I started realizing there was nothing wrong with the update. Aside from the Grand Exchange having the several miss, um, like, misprices. And there's nothing wrong with that because most of them were with you longbows. And I guess the people that want 99 Fletch just want it. God, I need a fallow to teleport. And that's the same with cooking. So, no matter those prices... Now, another thing about the updates were the assist, and that was actually another anti-scam thing. And as some of you might have seen Skychee's video, he just said it was an anti-scam that didn't work very well. And I think that's true because by that time, they were pro probably long in the planning of getting rid of unbalanced trade, and unbalanced trade has gotten rid of almost every scam and they've gotten rid of every um every scam that says like like it happened to me once i went down to that mole hole in falador and someone said give me your lantern and i gave it to them and then it, i started getting hit by ones and they'd run away and i just lose everything and i guess that led me to the mole hole but those scams they just don't happen anymore and so I don't know the assist system is for just those people like the rune crafters who want the quick 30k XP but I think the assist system is one of those other updates that could be done without because it doesn't help you in quest you'd actually have to have the levels with the potion or just have the level um I'm running out of ideas here so, another thing that's wrong with the assist system is that you can't do it with all skills. I don't know why. Is it it's because it's going to lower the price or something? I don't know. But with the mass amount of people getting 99 in almost every skill, I don't think it's going to make a difference because soon a whip's probably going to be 200k, maybe. That's just kind of like a dumb guess, I guess, because, because um... Well, they might just monitor, monitor the prices, you know, so some of the best items, like a god sword, aren't two mil. Um, so, okay, um, so that's my video, I guess, because, um, the updates really weren't that bad, and they're not going to ruin the game, so... I suggest everybody gets over it until they ruin their experience playing the game. And maybe start skilling and getting some money. Anyways, bye.